guys, Ken and Carol, we are downtown Toronto. Carol's like, let's get out of the house, go down to Toronto, walk around, go down to Toronto, walk around. And I'm like, I gotta take you to that ramen place that I had uh, food here. I'm gonna see if I can say it right this time. Hokkaido ramen. So uh, let's go in and get some food. So what'd you get? You got the miso? <laughs> miso? This is Carol's first ramen shop in Toronto. And then we got the gyoza. And I did a spicy miso, Kara miso, with a soft boiled egg, the gyoza. And I got a beer, Carol got a soft drink. Ready to eat? Yep. It's gonna be hot. <laughs> so, so this is for the, the gyoza, but we're gonna probably, I tried this a little bit, dab of that, and it's pretty pretty spicy stuff. That's probably just regular oil. This is a spicy oil, and this is the uh, soy sauce. So I just put it on the side, and then, yummy. It was that good. Thumbs up. Oh, thank you. No, no, no. Should on the way out. Well, that was lunch, ladies and gentlemen. What did you think, Carol? It was amazing. Just buttery noodles. I had the spicy. Carol had the regular ramen, and Carol tried the white thing with the uh, pink swirl <laughs> in it. And I, I thought I was under the impression that it was a fish thing, but I don't think it is. So if anybody knows what the little white thing is that has that pink swirl in it let us know what that is it actually might be a, a, a vegetable that they I don't know designed to do that anyway we are full oh the gyoza is amazing this is the hotel I stay at all the time it's the one place so we're just gonna go over to Dunlop or Dun, Dun, Dundas Square Dunlop Dundas Square I ate too fast Woo. Let's go. Silver Snail, man. Oh, such a cool place. <laughs> Carol. fun to visit the Silver Snail and it's just north of Dundas on Young Street. If you ever wanted to come by. Time to go in the eating center.
that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Eaton Center. Is it still actually called the Eaton Center? Yes. Yes. I'm not sure if they change it. Sometimes they change this stuff. Ever been in that building? A long time. Why were you there? I was there for a speeding ticket. <laughs> But I got off. It's funny because the, the way it all happened, there is they pulled over a whole bunch of us. It wasn't actually a speeding ticket. It was, we were driving along the 401, and it's one of the ones where there's like a really long on ramp from another area, uh, and people were like going out of our lane into the on ramp, driving up the on ramp, and then at the end was a whole bunch of cops and they're busting everybody. And so I did that. And when the cop pulled me over, I got out of the car. I'm like. I can't believe I just did that. What an idiot. And she's like, I actually called myself an asshole. And the woman's like, I didn't, I, I didn't say that. And then, and then she's like, oh, take it to court. I won't show up. I'm like, thank you. There you go, people. Beautiful building. Just gorgeous. I remember when the roof was green at one time, they stopped that. Or that will turn green over time. I'm not sure if it's the same brass building uh, roof structure or they just changed it to that so they don't have to worry about it anymore, but it was green for a very long time. Beautiful. If any of you guys out there are Rush fans, you'll recognize this a little bit. It's very similar. This isn't the actual album cover for Moving Pictures. It's another place in Toronto. I can't remember the exact location. I bet one of you guys would remember where the picture was taken of Rush Moving Pictures album but it's similar to this, three arches, and they're carrying out the pictures of, art, uh, I guess, art, and uh, it looked like they were stealing it, I guess. That's amazing, they got all these faces inside the artwork. Just the details, unbelievable. These beautiful pillars. No faces on this one, but there's some type of a gargoyle creature on that spot. Oh, more faces over here. And a very proud lion. going to a different fire. So this is Nathan Phillips Square and right now they're cleaning the ice for uh, just regular people to skate on it. Carol's laughing at me because I said regular people as opposed to the, the maple leaves. It's the Zamboni Championships. So there's a building behind these arches and there's a spire on top with lights on it. I think I tell you guys almost every time I come down here, but uh, sometimes they're not lit. Sometimes they're just lit and not moving. And then sometimes they're doing what they're doing, which is going up, which means the temperature is going to go up. So people around the area, they can just look at that building and tell if the temperature is going up and it is. And this building here is City Hall. It's been in uh, a couple movies. One of them was Resident Evil, and they actually had like a Black Hawk chopper up there on the deck, and lots of cop cars everywhere. And this was, I guess, some type of a military base portrayed in the movie. But let's go check out check out the tree. So it is a real tree, and uh, they can remove these blocks. It looks like to anchor things to the ground. Very cool. Maybe it's also for like water. When it rains heavy, the water just goes through there and doesn't flood up on top. But uh, yeah, big tree, nice.
just went through a shop and then I ended up inside the Sheridan. And uh, so I just walked around and looked at the waterfalls. Went for a ride in the escalator because it was free. <laughs> We are back home and uh, it is 6.02 and I had a good time. Yes, good time. Did you have a good time? Yes, it was a good time. Why are we doing this? Because I don't want them to see the mess on that oh, counter. Oh, that mess you counter? That's a good idea. <laughs> see, Carol knows how to vlog and how to make believe that we're not messy people. I'm messy. Uh, yeah, thanks for coming up with the idea of going downtown Toronto. You're I'm glad we went to the ramen place and walked yeah, around good. and got to see the little happy faces on the, the courthouse. Oh, yeah. I don't, think, I don't remember seeing those before. I guess we never walked up to it that close and analyzed it. Yeah, they were kind of weird. They had, like, open mouths, and it almost looked like some of them had their tongues sticking out. But then yeah. they had these, like, leaves or grass growing up and through and through their faces through their faces and it was different yeah like some of them looked just super happy and then they went to maybe even to the bazaar yeah like clowny type and not the kind of things that you'd want to have on uh, the, the side of your building sign of your municipal I think it be all, yeah. law building <laughs> well it, it is a courthouse so all kinds of people go through there so that's what i'm guessing they're going for anyway great date day Day to day, I guess it would be, right? Bye. I mean, bye. See ya. I gotta edit now.